Good night. Is this phone? I guess you can hear me, can't you? All right. Uh, there's an old saying, and uh, it's yeah, just a little hot, I think. You got a bad echo. It's got a, yeah, I got some echo to it. Uh, when I was a kid, my, I remember something my dad would always say to me, and uh, I, I'd, I would do things probably that I shouldn't do, and, and uh, my dad would, would say, say these words, and I'm sure that everybody in here at some time or another has heard these words. My dad would say, what in the world, what on the earth are you thinking? What on earth are you thinking? You know, I've got, a, I've got a message. If I was to have a text tonight, it would be this. What on earth are you thinking? What are you thinking? You say, are you getting on to me? No, I'm not getting on to you. I'm trying to encourage you tonight. I'm going to build you up. I want your faith to be strong tonight. I look back over this audience tonight, and, and I can see things that, that maybe you think that I don't see. I see them. I feel them. Okay? I feel the things that, that, is, that is in this building tonight. I feel the sorrow. I feel the hurt. I see the things that's going over in people's minds. And let's talk about the mind tonight. What about our mind? That's where we think. This is the thing that controls everything that we do. It's the thing that says reach down and get your car keys. Put them in the switch key. Turn it and it will start. Our mind gives everything like that that we need to know it comes through here. See, Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, He gives us a mind. And I'm going to ask you tonight, looking at the world that we're living in today, as you look across the world and you look and you turn your TV on at night, I guarantee tonight when you go home, you turn your TV on for the 10 o'clock news, and you know what? There's going to be something on there you're going to say, well, my goodness, who would have ever thought that that would have happened? I can't believe that this is going on. We knew it was coming. We knew it was fixing to happen. But we can't face reality sometimes. Sometimes it's hard for us to understand. Well, I can't believe that this person has done this to that person. Or that person molested that little kid. How many times have you heard it? How many times? You know what? I want to ask the question. What on earth are you thinking? What are you thinking about tonight? You see the world is going into the pit. It's going down. Everything is going the wrong way. But what do we need to be thinking about tonight? You know what? There's not a person in this church. There's not a person out there in the world tonight that don't think about something about hereafter. You know, you have people that say, well, I don't believe there's a God. I don't believe there's a God. I don't believe in that thing called God. I don't, I don't, I don't do all the churches. I don't, I don't do that. That's not my thing. My friend, let me tell you tonight, and you listen to what I've got to tell you. There's not a person in hell tonight that's not a believer. That's right. There's not a person in hell tonight that will tell, tell you that there's a living God. There's not a person tonight that thinks, what on earth am I thinking? What on earth are you thinking tonight? I began to read some scripture this afternoon and it just this just fell into my into my mind and listen to the listen to the words that I want to read tonight. If you got your Bible, turn to the book of Romans in the eighth chapter. And listen to this. The day that we're living in right now, we need to get our minds on one thing. We need to get on our mind on our minds the way out. The way out. You know, we're brought into this world tonight and that and like I've said this so many times, we're here and there's nothing we can do about it. Oh yeah, we can, we can take our life, we can get out of this world like that. But my friend, let me tell you something. Whenever you do something like that, you're getting into some deep water. You're getting into something you cannot get out. You, deep, you waded in just a little too deep. Now listen, in the 8th chapter of the book of Romans, it, it reads like this. There is therefore now no there is for, therefore now no condemn, con, condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. 
For the law of the, the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his son, own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Now listen to this next verse. For to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. I'm going to ask you the question tonight. What on earth are you thinking? What on earth is going through your mind tonight? Is the things of the world flooding your mind tonight? Is the things of the world, are you worried about tomorrow whether you're going to be able to make your car payment or not? Are you worried about tomorrow whether you're going to be able to go to the grocery store and have the things that you need for your family? What all is going through your mind in the day that we're living in right now? What is it that is bothering you? Is there something in your family that is rubbing you down? Is there something about the, about the world that you cannot get in contact with that is destroying your mind? Let me ask you tonight again. What on earth is on your mind. I'm going to tell you tonight what needs to be on your mind. We think about all the things of the world. We think about the things of the flesh. We think about it. We, we've got to have this. We've got to have this. And, and we've got to have that. I can't just drive any kind of car. I've got to have a car that's better than my neighbor's got. I've got to have this better than somebody else. I, I've got to be able to give more to my children than the other people <coughs> down the road is giving to theirs. I've got to do more than anybody else. We get our minds so entangled with the things of the world uh, that we forget about the one thing uh, that we need to be thinking about. Uh, you know what? We're here uh, and there's nothing we can do about that. But my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, your destiny is where that you're going to be going. Uh, you can get your mind on that uh, and get your mind on Jesus Christ. Uh, and the way to get out of this thing uh, is the only one way out and we're going out one way or another. But there's only the, a safe way to go out. Out, and that is with Jesus Christ in your mind. Amen. Tonight you need to be thinking about how what I'm going to do. What's going to happen whenever God says that's enough? I'm going to bring you home. As you mind, what are you thinking about now? What are you thinking about? My goodness, my friends, let me tell you tonight. We need to get our minds on what it is that God has given us through the promises in this Bible. Amen. Brother Ed, I'm looking forward to one day walking through the streets of gold. I'm looking forward to one day walking up and, and taking possession of the that mansion that he gave me. Amen. That's what my mind is on. What on earth are you thinking tonight? What's on your mind? Is the things of the devil cluttered your mind? Or are you thinking about one of these days walking right up into the face of Jesus Christ and reaching out and taking him by that nail scarred hand? I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My friend, it's time that we woke up. It's time we got our minds on something besides the devil and the world. It's time we forgot about the family. It's time we forgot about the cars the homes and all the things that the world has to offer and it's time we got our mind on Jesus Christ and Him crucified and on Amen. the third day yes, come out of that tomb yes, and walk out into the morning air. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's the gospel. You can preach everything else you want to through this Bible, but let me tell you something. Uh, that is the thing uh, that is going to get you to heaven. Uh, that's the thing you need to be thinking about. Uh, you need to know for sure that everything has been taken care of uh, and you're ready to meet the Lord. Amen. You know, a lot of times we go through life and, 
and we just think uh, we've got to have everything that comes down the pike. Uh, my friend, let me tell you something. Uh, the Bible says to be content with that that you have. Uh, don't worry about somebody else's possessions. Uh, don't be envying nobody else. Uh, just take what God has given you. Get a mind uh, that you can have uh, that the richest person in the world cannot possess. There's people out there today, you know, I marvel so many times. Whenever I look around and I see people, I see people that can just have anything that they want. They just give to them, I just walk up and take it. And then I see people that struggle and they don't know where the next meal is going to come from or the meal the next day is going to be there or not. They struggle and they wonder. And I say, God, why in the world have we not got this thing straightened out? And then it comes to me. We're only here for a short time. Amen. What you have don't mean a thing. Right. You can have all the gold in the world and it piled up it's to the sky and a million miles long. But whenever time comes for you to go, my friend, you better have your mind on one thing. Amen. Hallelujah. You better have your mind on one thing and that's leaving this world and walking into the portals of heaven. Amen. I'd rather have that on my mind Sister Martha, tonight, as anything else, I'd rather know that whenever I leave this world, if I walk out this door and my heart beats the last beat and it don't, I don't take another breath, my friend, you can say one thing. He had his mind on going to be with the Lord. That the Bible says, you know, Paul had the same thing on his mind. What on earth are you thinking? What are you thinking tonight? Is all the things of the world cluttering it? Oh no, let's get our mind at one time. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now people want to make all kinds of predictions about that scripture, but I'm going to tell you tonight, my friend, when I leave here, I'm going into the presence of the Lord. Amen. Are you thinking about that tonight? What on earth are you thinking? We're here on this earth, man, and we're going to be here until God says that's enough. That's I'm going to take old brother Ed Payne out of here, and whenever I tell you, takes him out, uh, I know that brother Ed's going to have this on his mind. I'm going to go into the presence of the Lord. I'm going to be able to see yeah. him as he is. When I leave, have a party. I'm yeah, gonna hallelujah. Be, I'm going to be partying. Hallelujah. You know what? It's something to think about tonight. What on earth are you thinking? What's on your mind tonight? What's on your mind? Now listen to this. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man has not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Hallelujah. What have you got on your mind tonight? What's on your mind tonight? What's on your mind? Are you ready to leave here tonight if God was to call you? Amen. And if Christ be with you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. It is something whenever you get into the Word of God and begin to understand what it is. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body by the Spirit that dwelleth in you. What on earth are you thinking tonight? What on earth are you thinking about? Are you thinking about whenever that, whenever he says that's enough, I'm going to get out of this old mortal body, I'm going to walk into a spiritual body, I'm going to walk right into the portals of heaven. I'm going to walk right up and, and I'm going to possess that mountain that he said, that mountain that he said I could have. I'm going to walk down by that river of life. I'm going to eat from that fruit of that tree of life. I'm going to be able to see Jesus Christ. I'm going to sing a song that the angels can't sing. I'm going to sing a song that they desire to look into. Amen. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to sing it just as loud as I can sing it. And then I'm going to go right up to Him and I'm going to say, Jesus, uh, I thank You for what You've done for me. Hallelujah. God's moving. God's moving and we're going to move with Him. 
Thank God for what's going on around here. I thank God for every day, every day that I look up. I say, God, I thank you. I see you working miracles. I see you doing things that is unreal. I know that it's you because it couldn't be nobody else because the devil is not going to do anything but try to take God down. And let me tell you tonight, my friend, the devil ain't got a prayer. He knows what his destiny is. Amen. He can do all the praying. He can do all the repenting. He can do all he wants to now. He's in trouble. He's got a problem. You don't have that problem tonight. You have a destiny. You have a place you know you can go. You know what's in, what's in your life. You know how to handle your life. You know what it is that you need to do to be able to walk into the portals of heaven. I hope y'all got something out of this tonight. Think about this tomorrow. What on earth are you thinking? Is your mind on all the things of the world? Or is your mind on the good things of God? What are you thinking? God is a good God. Amen. Whenever I see Him do the things that He does, and I see Him work the miracles that He works, and I see Him do the healings that He does. You know, I, I, I marvel so many times in this church. In this church, and I ought to know better than to even think anything other than it's God. Whenever I see people get up and they say, there's a certain person and they need a touch from God and the next service night you hear somebody say, did you hear about so-and-so? They thought they wasn't going to make it. They dismissed them today from the hospital, told them to go home and live a normal life. What are you thinking? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking God is still at work. I'm thinking that God is still the God that He always was. Whenever He, he rolled the Red Sea back, He's still the same God. He says, I have God and I He's still the not. same God He is. He's not going to change. He said, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Forever means whenever we leave this world and get into eternity, He's going to be the same then. But we're going to see Him at a multitude and like you've never seen before. We're going to see God as He is. Thank you, Lord. I hope you all got something out of this tonight. Remember Sunday school Sunday morning? Be back Sunday morning. Come and if you can bring somebody with you, invite somebody. God's moving. The right people is coming to this church. The right people is going to come in. The people that needs to be coming is coming. Get ready because we're going to have a church that is full of faith. We're going to have a church that's full of, that believe that God can do anything that we ask Him to. Yes, He can. Keep praying. Keep praying for the church. Keep praying that God will keep moving. And we'll see an outpouring of the Spirit of God. I want the Spirit of God in this church. I want Him, to, whenever, whenever we walk in the door, I want Him to be here. I don't want nothing that would make Him walk out of that door. I don't want it, nothing that would make him say, I don't want to be in my If the sin. love is here, God will be here because God is love. For God is love. That's right. And so I, I want that more than anything in the world. I want it to be where the, when we walk in this church that the love of God is shown. Amen. More than anything in the world. That's the most important thing that we could ever do and ever be. All right. I thank you for coming out tonight. Remember this. Sunday.